good Monday afternoon, folks. How's everybody done today in the Bluegrass State? Headed home from work, coming off of a week's vacation. I know I ain't been posting very much lately, but uh, believe it or not, I kind of run out of a few things to say for a while, so uh, I'm going to take my uh, brother-in-law's suggestion. He suggested I do it on Mondays and uh, just caught a, a weekend observation video and kind of do an overview of what happened over the weekend, what we got into and whatnot, and uh, seeing how it's summertime, uh, we uh, got the pool back up and running, got the uh, got the new pump installed, and got it wired up and going. Uh, I had to, uh, the pool guy uh, from Getty's Pool came out and uh, was just going to install a new pump that's what went out and then after he got there he realized that uh, the pump motor was uh, 40 years old and nothing was compatible so he had to end up replacing the pump motor the whole kit and caboodle so uh, the, the in-laws have got a American home shield so that saved them uh, a pretty good chunk of change on that they just had to pay the deductible 100 bucks uh, then we didn't have the right one of the fittings was on the old motor that my son-in-law had taken to try to get working because he's a pool guy. Uh, they couldn't get it working, so that's when we had to order the new one. And we were going to take the fitting off the old motor for the new motor for the conduit, the uh, liquid type, to go from the disconnect to the motor to make it work. Well, the pool guy from Getty's had to go to another service call, so he showed me how to wire up the pump and he said, when your son-in-law gets here with the other fitting, he said, just, un just cut it off at the disconnect, un you know, loosen the nuts, pull the wires out, put the fitting in, run it all back in, wire it back up, and you'll be good to go. Uh, well, like I said, the old pump motor's 40 years old, was not compatible, different size fittings, yada, yada, yada. So I had to uh, do some infield engineering to get it wired back up and working uh, until I could get the parts and pieces that I needed to actually fix it. And I don't know why when they put it in 30, 40 years ago, they used three quarter inch fittings on everything. They could use three quarter and put a half inch uh, fitting and it would work, but they, I guess because of the size of the, the plug, they had to go three quarter. I don't know. But uh, the liquid type that's on it now, I, I put a clamp on it and tried to tighten it down got it good enough to where it's working but it's been sitting out in the sun for 34 years so it's safe to dry around it but uh, like I said I done some uh, good old infield engineering and got that up and running I've got the parts now to fix it the right way as soon as I get a chance to get over there and get it done that's what we uh, set out by the pool uh, yesterday it was hot man was it hot uh, went to the lake Saturday evening down to Sunset where we've got our pontoon boat and uh, went out to eat at the Sunset Marina. Uh, local folks, if you haven't been out there to eat, go down there. They got some good food. Uh, they've got one of the best pork chops I think I've ever had the pleasure of eating. Uh, it was so hot and stuff then. I, I, when we were down there, I didn't want the full meal, so uh, they offered the same pork chop as comes to the dinner as a sandwich fully dressed uh, lettuce tomato you can probably get cheese on if you want uh, I got it with lettuce tomato and pickles uh, I'm not sure how they season that bad boy but let me tell you it is lips smacking good uh, 12 bucks awesome uh, it's about probably a half inch three quarter inch thick blackened something like grill I don't know but it's awesome I think uh, every time I eat at sunset, that's going to be my go-to. Either that or the hot ones. They've got really good hot ones, too, believe it or not. Uh, that's pretty much our weekend weekend observation in a nutshell, folks. Uh, I'm getting ready to go home right now and fix uh, some steaks. We bought, they had uh, bacon-wrapped uh, fillets at Kroger yesterday when we went to the store Saturday, not yesterday, Saturday. Uh, and five bucks a piece, had different flavors, had a peppermint one, a hickory smoke, a bourbon smoke, uh, 
So uh, we picked us up two bourbon smoked ones. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go home and heat up the cast iron skillet and throw them in the cast iron skillet because uh, they say that's the best way to fix them. I've never fixed fillet before. I've always done sirloin, ribeye, flank, New York strip. So this is going to be a learning curve for me. Uh, I'll let y'all know tomorrow how it turns out. If it was, uh, smash or pass on it. Food, food, smash pass on food. But uh, yeah, that's my weekend observation video in a nutshell. As always, folks, stay safe, God bless, and I'll be talking to you.